Twitter, it's your boy Wayman IV, and today I'm going to show you what I did to install cup holders for the back seats in my 2001 Jeep Cherokee. I've got a lot of explaining to do. So as we all know, the Cherokee came in two-door or four-door variants offered for each model year from 84 to 01. As summarized in my very informative video describing the differences between them, the compromise for having rear doors is there are no cup holders in the back seat, leaving all those non-existent rear passengers with nowhere to put their drink when you order half the Dairy Queen menu. So if you have a two-door Cherokee, you can rightfully brag about your backseat cup holders in the comments. In fact, any Cherokee before 1997 won't have any cup holders unless it's a two-door. Which brings me to an interesting point. Even all the way back in 1984 when this vehicle debuted, the two-door models had cup holders. This is actually kind of surprising considering the same model year the Dodge Caravan and Plymouth Voyager vans were considered to be the first ever vehicles to have cup holders. Does this mean the Jeep Cherokee could be considered one of the first vehicles to ever feature the iconic cup holder? Despite most models being a four-door and the front seats not having their own cup holders until the redesign in 97, it surprises me that a Jeep of all things is tied for having the earliest known cup holders in automotive history. But anyway, I decided to use bike mounted bottle holders for these rear seat cup holders. They're usually mounted on a bike and hold bottles. Uh, I found these at a garage sale on a bike in fact. Uh, the seller was pretty confused as to why I wanted just these and not the bike, but don't worry Mr. Seller. They're being put to good use. So even though I got these for free, I was able to find them on Amazon, linked in the description. If you saw the front door pockets video, which I highly recommend, we'll be following a very similar procedure. You can use the bolts provided with the cup holders, but you will need to find a nut that fits on the threads to hold it from the back side of the panel. I've decided to mount them towards the middle of the door panel right next to this grab handle and right underneath the top foamy section. This way there's still plenty of room for the passengers to climb out. You can still fold down the rear seats. You can try to mount them up here but this stuff's probably going to be kind of difficult to drill through. You can also try to mount them down lower or on a pillar wherever you want. Uh, but I think this spot works the best. First we have to remove the door panel. There are three screws holding it in. Uh, now I'll be careful because these screws probably haven't been touched in a long time considering there's no speakers in the back doors. I found that small forceful twisting motions will usually break them free. So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to push in as hard as possible and just, just tap it like, like that. Like twist it. I don't know how to describe it, but I got this one loose. You can also try using peanut butter if you want. Whatever you do, don't strip these. You will have a terrible day. Once all the screws are out, take your handy panel clip pliers or a flathead screwdriver. We're gonna pop out all the clips on these three edges. Next, lift the panel out of the lip by the window. And then if you have power windows or locks, we're gonna disconnect that electrical connector there and pivot these braces out to get the lock and handle mechanisms disconnected. I don't know if you remember at the start of this video when it was all sunny outside. What's it been, like 10 minutes? It's already raining. Yeah, anyway, we got the panel off. Well, now that it's all covered in rainwater, I guess it's a good opportunity to get all this mud off of here. Anyway, our next step is going to be lining up the cup holder with the optimum location on the panel. I'm going to have mine sit about right here. So I got it right on the edge of this grab handle thing and right underneath the foam part. I don't know if that's actually foam, but whatever. 
So when I got it about straight, I'm just gonna eye it up. I mean, you could use a level and stuff if you wanted. I'm gonna mark the two screw holes with a Sharpie. And then, using a 1 8 drill bit, I'm gonna drill through those holes. All right, now using whatever this thing is, I'm gonna punch through the insulation on the back. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna stick this thing through the hole and then poke a hole in the insulation here. Zip. Make sure you don't stab yourself. Now that we've got two holes in the insulation using whatever this thing is, I'm going to carve it away from those holes so that it doesn't get all tangled up in the next drill bit. Just a little bit, that's good enough. Then using a 3 16 drill bit, we can drill through these holes once again. And just to make sure, I'm going to test fit one of these bolts in it. They should thread into the plastic. I'm going to put a nut on the back anyway, so that, that goes right in. So I'm going to line up our cup holder. And stick a bolt through. So I'm just going to do those hand tight because I couldn't care enough to find an allen wrench that fits in those and then on the back side I'll find where they're sticking through the insulation and put a nut on the back this is also going to be hand tight because I don't care um, I don't imagine anybody's going to be putting anything in these cup holders that will be too heavy for this obviously you can tighten these down more if you feel necessary but I think that's fine. Now it's time to go reinstall this. Before I go put the door panel back on, a handful of these stupid little clip things probably busted off. You can replace these by sliding them out. I've linked these in the description as well. They just pop in there like that. Well, everything's soaking wet from a rainstorm that wasn't even on the forecast. I'm gonna go ahead and put this panel back on. Close the door while in the vehicle to make sure everything lines up and fits. And grab a toxic bottle of corn syrup to test it out. Ever since Mountain Dew made their bottles smaller, it doesn't really work with those. Um, water bottles work nicely. Uh, fast food bottles or fast food cups should work nicely. Hey, it's a bicycle bottle holder. What, what more can you expect? Before you get too crazy with these things though, be aware that they are in the way when you go to fold the back seats down. The easy way to negate this problem is to simply open both back doors before you try to fold down the seat. 
Even so, with the back seat either folded down or up, they fit very nicely. So I guess your next step is to find friends who will actually use 